What did you guys build in Fund 7? What, what was the kind of the, the NRA count, the basin exposure, and then we'll, we'll break it down on how you did it. Sure. So yeah, so 20, uh, our Desert Partner 7, like you said, launched in uh, December of 2020. Uh, we closed it in November of 2022. So just a uh, hair less than two years. In that time, we, uh, we purchased about 12,500 acres, uh, most of that being in the Permian. Uh, so uh, 7,200 of it was in the Delaware, um, and then another 3,700 of it, 3,800 was in the was in the Midland Basin, and so that was the the concentration where most of the dollars went. Uh, then there were some opportunistic buys that we made in the Eagleford and the Haynesville, but they make up a, a a small piece of really what Desert Partner Seven is, um, and. Yeah, that seventh fund benefited from um, commodity price. We were fortunate to to buy quite a bit in um, you know the, the calendar override to launch, and then 2021 we bought a lot of minerals um, just on the ground broker deals, and um, and those deals were were bought at low commodity price and have benefited from what's happened since. Um, so yeah, the, the last two years has been uh, uh, or for for that fund has been a Permian focused. Um, uh, you know, fund that had, that it ultimately bought about twelve thousand acres. And uh, what what would you say was the major difference from a deal flow or in a transaction perspective of oil running up over a hundred bucks uh, over these last few years? You know what what how we reacted to that is we had several deals in the pipeline where we knew they had a certain number that they wanted, and. Um, and I'm thinking of three grassroots deals that we had uh, specific numbers from sellers that said, if I could ever get X price per acre or this many million dollars, I'm a seller. And um, and when the price ran up, we went back to those people and said, hey, I think we can do that now. And to their credit, they said, OK, uh, that's what we wanted. Uh, we get it. The price of oil went up. You, that justifies it. And we were able to. Uh, we were able to get over $20 million of, of deals in a short amount of time, probably from February to call it April, uh, where we went back to uh, relationships that we knew that had certain numbers that that they wanted to hit. And uh, the spike in prices allowed us to get the confidence to get there. Um, now, we were only able to do that with, uh, with properties that had existing cash flow because we weren't, it didn't really move the strip that much. Uh, when the price of oil spiked in February. And so the long-term deals with uh, lots of locations to be drilled, you know, we couldn't necessarily pay a material amount more for those. But the ones that had cash flow that we could model a totally different return for the next six months, um, you know, that was enough to push us to get some deals bought.